I-16 Property Plant and Equipment Presentation and Disclosure This is a summary of the main content of I-16. Accounting treatment comprises recognition, measurement and disclosure. This presentation will focus on disclosure. I-16 paragraph 73 to 79 addresses the disclosure requirements of your property plants and equipment items in the annual financial statements of a company. Paragraph 73 highlights the accounting policy requirements as well as the detail information that has to be included in the property plant and equipment note where your opening carrying amount is reconciled to your closing carrying amount indicating the following detailed line items. Paragraph 74 addresses some sundry disclosure requirements. Paragraph 77 focuses on the disclosure requirements where items of property, plant and equipment are stated at revalued amounts. The following will be included in a narrative paragraph at the end of the PPE note. The effective date of the revaluation, whether an independent valuer was involved, and for each revalued class of property, plant and equipment, the carrying amount that would have been recognized had the assets been carried at the cost model. Property plant and equipment is presented on the face of the statement of financial position under assets and specifically non-current assets. In the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income, the presented line items other income and other expenses can be affected. Any revaluation surplus or deficits recognized through other comprehensive income is indicated as a line un item under this section. Please note this specific heading items that will not be reclassified to profit or loss as being applicable to revaluation surplus and deficits through OCI. In the statement of changes in equity, you will have a revaluation surplus column um, as a separate equity item, the current year movements through OCI is transferred to this column where you have a surplus that realized during the current period a portion was transferred from the revaluation surplus to retained earnings. This is next to a specific new line item directly in equity. You are not allowed to transfer this realization through profit or loss or other comprehensive income. Profit for the year affects retained earnings. In the statement of cash flows, the sections affected through property, plant and equipment is your cash generated from operations, depreciation, profit or loss from disposal, revaluation surplus and deficits through profit or loss are all non-cash flow items. In your cash from investing activities section, Investments to maintain operating activities include replacement of PPE. Investments to expand operating capacity includes additions to PPE and proceeds on disposal of PPE. Important, revaluation is a non-cash flow movement on PPE. This is an example of an accounting policy note on property, plant and equipment. This is an example of the property, plant and equipment note that supports the line item that is presented on the face of the statement of financial position. This is referred to as the disclosure in the PPE note. In this note, you have to indicate a reconciliation between the opening carrying amount and the closing carrying amount of each clause of property, plant and equipment. This reconciliation includes specific line items including revaluation surplus or deficit, depreciation for the year, impairment losses recognized in profit or loss or OCI, disposals and additions. Please note um, impairment losses is the topic covered in I's 36 at a later stage this year. You will have to refer back to this property, plant and equipment note after you've done that topic. 
Disposals include the disposal of a property plant and equipment item as well as the de-recognition of a replaced component part. Additions include new property plant and equipment items purchased as well as new components capitalized to the carrying amount of the PPE item.